Hi, welcome back to Five Business Rules. I'm Monica. I'm Nicole. And today we're talking about marketing rules that never change. And I know when it comes to marketing, especially digital marketing, it seems like you know the flag post is always moving the rules are always changing it's hard to keep up but there are some fundamentals that no matter what platform you're using no matter what campaign you're working on these will never ever change it's true the platforms change and they are going to evolve but actually how you relate to people is always going to be consistent exactly all right so first things first is listen listen for the need listen for the question listen for the opening to a conversation. Unless you hear someone specifically say, I need X, I need what you sell, I need you know this product, this service, you're just kind of going out and, and, and throwing up on people, throwing information all around and, and not actually being helpful and valuable. So people will actually usually tell you what you need to know. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, if you can get and figure out what they need, what they start, usually you can have a sale um, or at least something coming in that you can offer and really customize to them. Mm -hmm. However, maybe it's just something about you, right? I, I have gotten a customer because she's a horse person and I was a horse person too. And so like right. I bonded that way. She mm -hmm. hung out with me, um, you know, in my marketing for six months and then she converted. Mm -hmm. And so figure out how you can relate to a customer. If it's on the sales, if it's on a personal level, it'll help. Absolutely. All right. Number two, keep it simple. And I don't like saying keep it simple, stupid, because I think that's, that's not give nice. Me a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Um, <laughs> but this really comes down to your messaging. Be super straightforward. Super simple. We don't need to use big, long explanations. People don't remember that stuff. They remember the short, simple, straightforward messages, not the paragraph that's this long. Give it to them straight. Remember, we've all got the attention of a goldfish. And so two seconds, what's that quick take, take away and don't complicate it. Exactly. All right. Number three, be client centric. This kind of goes back to our first point about listening. Focus on them, not on you, okay? I, it doesn't matter what I care about. It matters what my potential client cares about. So what are their top challenges? How can you help them? This has to drive your messaging. So here's a good example. I see a lot of small business owners that they have their bio and their picture on the front page because they think, well, people are going to hire me. And that's true. However, mm -hmm. they want to know they will hire you because of how you can help them. So right. keep your bio on an about page and mm -hmm. speak first to how you make their life better. Exactly. Be consistent. And this is something we talk about all the time with our clients logo, how your logo appears everywhere, uh, your brand colors, your tone of voice, everything must be consistent or you will confuse people. And you could even end up looking like you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> That's going to completely erode trust in you. Even though you could be on the top of your game, it's so, so easy to uh, lose people's trust. So you know what's funny too here is I, had, I went to a networking event last week and this girl was talking to me and then she looked at my card and she goes, Oh, we've met before. She didn't remember my face. <laughs> but something about the colors and the logo and the brand hmm. triggered her memory. And yeah. so if I'm using green one day and purple the next day, that, you know, they don't help. But whatever you can get, you know, we all know the Nike swoosh because it is used consistently. So remember mm -hmm. that in your marketing. Yeah, and it's black and white. It's not every color under the rainbow. It's in Nicole's point. It's simple. It, and it's simple. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my last tip is measure twice, cut once. And you might be thinking, oh, you're not a contractor. Why are you talking about measure twice and cut once? It really goes back to double checking everything before you send out that email, which you cannot retract. Yes, you can edit or even delete posts on social media, but hopefully, you know, uh, before people catch the huge mistake in there, make sure your spelling is correct, your grammar is on point, links work. Um, again, 
double check everything. Spell check will be do, on the same spell side. Spell check will same do side. some for you, but I'm terribly guilty of this of trying to dash off an email and then you see it again and you go, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? I look like an idiot. Yeah. So, you know, and we all do that. You see weird spelling things or miss things or you can't understand it and it brings down your credibility. So just check yourself. Yeah, exactly. And it drives me crazy when people spell my name wrong. <laughs> she called me out on that. I call everyone out on it. <laughs> To the point that some people call me Monica with a K. Now I will never like. Now I can't spell Monica with a C anymore. <laughs> yeah, they all get their names spelled wrong. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.